So if you go to wedgears.ca, the website, and click on uh, gear cutting, it'll take you to this page. And this is a printout. And in this particular one, there's a 20 tooth, which is the larger one. And this little one is a seven tooth gear. And it's showing you how it connect together. Even gives you a point of contact and where to place your holes and everything. So it's a really easy way to make your own gears out of wood. Then I got a glue stick, go to the other side, paste this down. My test piece of wood here is called MDO, medium density overlay. It's what they make signs out of. So it's like a plywood core with traditional veneers with the exterior glue. And on the top here, it's actually like a paper and that's the part that they would paint like a sign on and so on. So it's, it's quite stable. Uh, it's uh, pretty inexpensive. This is only, I think, a half inch piece. I picked it up for around 30 bucks for a sheet. And uh, I used it on another project. Actually, I used it on the, the uh, truck cap that I'll show in another video. Back to the second attempt. Um, so what I decided to do is I, like I originally started cutting these holes freehand and then I thought, why don't I screw this down to a piece of like a block of wood and then I can spin it around and I'll get my holes exactly lined up where they're supposed to be. this little system I can use to trim off. So this is my guide. Then I'll take my saw, put it here. And anything that sticks out over this guide, I cut off. There, it's to keep things consistent. Getting better at making these these gears. So probably if you used a better piece of plywood, like uh, the recommended one, it's called Baltic Birch. Uh, you would have more stable glue on in between the veneers, and there's more veneers per thickness of plywood. It would work better. Sixty, seventy dollars for it's a five by five sheet. That's for Baltic Birch. And that's just a little bit out of my budget right now, so I just have to make do with what I have. I've got a piece of pre-finished birch uh, plywood, and I'm going to try that next. 